Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss Telangana class 10 mathematics model paper solutions. This question paper was recently released by government of Telangana. Let us discuss solution. In section 1 we have 6 questions. Each question carries 2 marks. Total weightage is 12 marks. First question, if A is equal to X such that X belongs to N and X is less than 5. B is X such that X belongs to N, 2 is less than X, less than 7. Then draw Venn diagram for A union B. So we have to draw a Venn diagram for A union B. So this is a set builder form. We have to convert into rooster form. X less than 5 means A is a set with 1, 2, 3, 4. B is a set builder form given as 2 is less than X, less than 7. So B will be 3, 4, 5, 6. X lies between 2 and 7. That is 3, 4, 5, 6. So A union B, B will become the union of both sets, I mean together of both sets, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the Venn diagram for the given question students. Second question, check whether the given pair of equation x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 is intersecting or parallel lines. To check whether the given linear equations is intersecting or parallel, we need to do the comparison with their ratio students, a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. Always whatever the type of lines, this is a common procedure. a1 by a2, a1 is a quotient of x for first equation and a2 is the quotient of x for second equation. So there is no number here, we will assume as 1 and a2 will become 2. So b1 by b2 are the quotient of y for first equation and second equation. So it will be 2 by 4 and c1 by c2 will become the constant 2 equation so minus 4 by minus 12 we will convert this one into the least form so 2 by 4 is also equal to 1 by 2 negative negative cancel 4 1s are 4 3s are so clearly a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 both are equal to 1 by 2 but that is not equal to c1 by c2 so this is the condition for parallel line so the given pair of linear equations are parallel line moving on to the third question Give one example each for an arithmetic progression and a geometric progression. We know that arithmetic progression, the difference should be equal and for geometrical progression, the ratio should be equal. So we can take any example, for example, 3, 6, 9, 12, so on is an example for arithmetic progression. And for a geometric progression, it will be 2, 4, 8, 16 so on this is an example of geometrical progression here the difference between any two numbers is same 6 minus 3 is 3 9 minus 6 is 3 12 minus 9 is 3 so we have common difference here we have common ratio 4 divided by 2 is same as 8 divided by 4 is same as 16 divided by 8 we have common ratio here as 2 so it is a geometrical progression Find the probability of getting a oval if a letter is chosen randomly from English alphabet. We know there are five ovals in English alphabet. They are A, E, I, O, U. So total number of alphabets in English alphabet English alphabets are 26 and ovals are 5. So number of favorable outcomes by total number of possible outcomes. So probability of getting a oval in English alphabets are 5 by 26. Fifth question, find the volume of hemispherical ball whose radius is 2.8 centimeters. We know the volume of hemisphere which is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Where r means radius is 2.8 centimeters. So we apply radius in the given formula 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 2.8 into 2.8 into 2.8. I'm multiplying radius 3 times as in the formula we have r cube. So after calculation, we will get the answer as 16.5 cm cube. In triangle ABC, DE is parallel to BC. AD is to DB. AD is to DB is given as 2 by 3. And AE is given as 3x plus 1. EC is given as 5x. Find the value of x. And so in this problem, we have to find the value of x. So to find x, we have to use basic proportionality theorem. If a line drawn parallel to one side divides the other two sides in the same ratio. So AD by DB will be equal to AE by EC. So AD, we know that AD by DB is 2 by 3. AE by EC is 3x plus 1 by 5x. If two ratios are equated, we have to do cross multiplication. 
2 into 5x is equal to 3 into 3x plus 1 which is same as 10x is equal to 3 3 is a 9x plus 3 1 is a 3. So we will move this 9x to other side will become minus 9x which is 3. So 10x minus 9x is 1x which is 3. So the value of x is 3. Seventh question if log 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta plus log 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta is equal to log k find the value of k. So this is a question connection with logarithm and trigonometry. So here we have to know the one formula log a plus log b is equal to log a into b. We have to apply this formula in the given question. So log a 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta we will assume it as a and 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta we will assume at b students. So log a plus log b is log a into b. So we can write this given expression as log 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cos theta cot theta minus cosecant theta and write log k as it is in the right hand side. So we will multiply trinomial with trinomial simple multiplication and cancelling the like terms minus cosecant theta plus cosecant theta secant theta minus secant theta and remaining terms we have to apply cot theta as cos theta by sin theta tan theta as sin theta by cos theta and secant theta as 1 by cos theta cosecant as 1 by sin theta. Taking LCM we will get k value as Eighth question, write the formula for mode of a group of data and explain each term of it. So mode formula, formula is L plus F1 minus F0 by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Where L is the lower limit of modal class, H is the size of the class, F1 is the frequency of the modal class, F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class and F2 will be the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class. Ninth question. Prove that 2 plus 3 root 5 is an irrational number. To prove it is an irrational number, first we have to assume it is a rational number. Student. So rational number is P by Q. Sending plus 2 to other side will become minus 2. So P minus 2Q by 3Q. Multiplication also I am sending. So here P, Q and 3 are integers. Therefore P minus 2Q by 3Q will become a rational number. If right hand side is a rational number, obviously left hand side should also be a a rational number but we all know that root 5 is a irrational number this is why it contradicts to the fact that root 5 is irrational so we conclude that 2 plus 3 root 5 is an irrational number and the question prove that x square plus 2x plus 1 divides x to the power of 4 minus 2x cube minus 4x square plus 2x plus 3 exactly so to prove it divides exactly we have to use the division method so first by first we will get the remainder as 0 and the quotient as x square minus 4x plus 3. As remainder is 0, x square plus 2x plus 1 divides this one exactly. Turn the question. In a circle of radius 3.5 centimeters, a chord subtends a right angle at the center. Find the area of the corresponding major segment. So here AB is a chord and the upper part, this part is called major segment and the shaded part is minor segment. So area of minor segment is equal to area of quadrant. So we all know that this is the quadrant which is one fourth of a circle minus area of triangle. So if we subtract area of quadrant minus area of triangle, we will get the area of minor segment or a shaded region. So area of minor segment is area of quadrant which is given as 1 by 4 pi r square and area of triangle which is nothing but off into base into height. Base here is OA and height is OB. So we will apply pi value here 1 by 4 pi value is 3.14 radius is given as 3.5 from the given question 3.5 into 3.5 minus off into base is 3.5 height is also 3.5. So after calculation we will get the minor segment as 3.5 centimeter square. So we require major segment so area of major segment is area of circle minus area of minor segment. So pi r square is the area of circle formula, minor segment value is given as, I mean we got it as 3.5, so area of major segment as 35 cm square. Twelfth question, find the area of triangle whose vertices are 5, 2, 3, minus 5, minus 3, minus 4. So given three vertices are 5, 2, we will assume 5, 2 as x1 by 1, 3 minus 5 as x2 by 2, 
minus 3 minus 4 as x3 y3 and will replace in the area of triangle formula. Area of triangle formula we all know off into x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2. Replacing x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 in the formula we will get the area of triangle as 22 square units. Moving on to section 3. In section 3 we have 6 questions. Each question carries 5 marks. Total weightage is 30 marks. It is a long answer section students. Internal choice will be given in this section. So let us see what questions appeared in this section. 13. Find the mean of the following data. Class interval and frequency is given. To find a mean we have to use 5 boxes. Class interval, frequency, mid value, ui, fi, ui. So mean formula is a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h. Sigma fi ui value we got it as 40. A value is 95 mid value. Sigma fi is 100. Replacing in the given formula we will get mean answer as 99. Option the angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of the tower is 30 degrees and the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from the foot of the building is 60. If the tower height is 100 centimeters, find the height of the building. So this is the diagram for the given question students. Just go through the procedure. Prove that tan theta plus secant theta minus 1 by tan theta minus secant theta plus 1 is equal to 1 plus sin theta by cos theta. Go through the procedure students. We have taken LHS and we have proved the answer as RHS, hence proved. 15th question, cards marked with numbers 2 to 101 are placed in a box. They are mixed thoroughly and one card is selected randomly from the box. Find the probability that the number on the selected card is an even number. So probability of getting an even number is, we know the formula of probability number of favorable outcomes by total number of possible outcomes. So there are 50 even numbers out of 100 cards. So the P of even numbers will be off 1 by 2. Second bit is P of I mean probability of getting a number less than 14. So less than 14 we have 12 cards that is 12 by 100 which is nothing but 3 by 25. P of which is a perfect square the number perfect squares from 2 to 101 we have 9 so which is nothing but 9 by 100 and P of prime numbers less than 20 is 8 by 100. 17th question is a question from polynomials that is graph. Draw the graph x square minus x minus 6 and find the zeros. To find the graph first we have to assume the given polynomial as y which is nothing but x square minus x minus 6. We have to replace the value of x with minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. We will get the values of y and we get the points. Now these points should be plotted in the graph as shown in the right side of the screen. So this parabola meets the x-axis at minus 2 and 3. So minus 2 and 3 are the zeros of the given polynomial. Solve the equations graphically. So to solve the equation graphically, points for first equation and two points for second equation, plotting on the graph it looks like this and the solution is 2, 1. So the both the lines, I mean both the equations meet at 2, 1. So the solution is x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. If we replace this x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 in the given equation, it has to satisfy the RHS. Let us see. 3x, x value is 2, 4y, y value is 1, 3 2s are 6 plus 4 which is nothing but 10 RHS. We will also Check whether it is true for the second equation. 4x, x value is 2, minus 3, y, y value is 1. 4 2s are 8, 8 minus 3 is 5, which is nothing but RHS. So 2, comma 1 is the solution for the given linear equation. 